Well, pessimists have lectured us that emerging markets were TKO, MIA, and DOA. And boy, were they wrong because emerging market stocks during the past year have outperformed developed market stocks, including the S&P 500. And on today's show, we've got two emerging market ETFs in the battle ring. It's VWO versus FXI. Bring your hot sauce because it's about to get muy caliente, amigos, right after this. Welcome to TTF Battles. It's great to see you. I'm Ron DeLegge. Never mind whether you agree with their politics or not, China is an economic force boasting one of the largest world populations. They're definitely a global leader in key growth sectors like technology and internet and electric vehicles. They also do a lot of manufacturing, so I've heard. Today's showdown is between the iShares China large cap ETF, that's FXI, versus the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF, that's ticker symbol VWO. Both funds are among the largest emerging market ETFs by assets. VWO alone has a whopping $81 billion under management. That's a lot of bananas. The question is, is it enough bananas to push VWO to victory over FXI, or will today's battle end in a banana split? Well, the answer awaits us. Now, before I introduce our judges, you can download a battle recap of today's show with a clean breakdown of how each judge scored the overall ETF winner. Just hit the download link in the description section in this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to ETF Guide TV and check out our other weekly shows like the Portfolio Report Card, where I analyze and grade your investments. Now, helping us to judge today's matchup is Mike Akins at ETF Action and Dave Krensis at ETF Portfolio Management. Gents, welcome back. It's great to see you. Thanks, Ron. Great to see you guys. Hey, guys. Good to be here. So the four battle categories are cost, exposure, strategy, performance, and then the mystery battle category. And for our mystery category, that's where you guys get to choose that factor or several factors to support your analysis. I like the mystery category because it allows us to see the personality and the unique approach of each of our judges. And my scorecard is blank. It's ready. And we're going to go through each of these four battle categories one at a time, give our judges the opportunity to pick FXI or VWO, or perhaps they might opt for a split decision. We'll just have to wait and see. And then at the end of the show, we'll declare an overall battle winner. So we're going to begin with the first category, which is cost. And Mike, you're up. Go ahead. Well, if you're going to enter the ring on cost with Vanguard, you're usually going to lose. And there's no exception here today. Uh, FXI comes with a pretty high expense ratio for a $4 billion ETF at 74 basis points, um, whereas VWO is only 10 basis points, so significantly cheaper. And even beyond that, and we'll get into this more in, in exposure, but VWO offers access to 4,000 securities for that 10 basis points, whereas FXI only provides access to the 50 largest companies inside of China. So hands down winner, VWO. All right. Thank you very much for that excellent start. Dave, how do you see it in terms of cost? Well, Ron, I agree with Mike. The uh, 64 basis points difference here is somewhat material. So the win on absolute cost goes to emerging markets, VWF. Next up is exposure strategy. So Dave, you're up. How do you see it? So for strategy here, FXI gives you concentrated exposure to 50 large cap stocks trading on the Hong Kong exchange while the emerging markets basket gives you over 4,000 stocks. So it is far more diversified with just 43% allocated to China. Since China's economy is expected to surpass the US and become the world's largest market somewhat soon, I prefer the extra China exposure. So I give the exposure win to FXI. All right, how do you see it, Mike, in terms of exposure strategy? Who's your pick? Well, I think you're dealing with two different animals here and that one is, as Dave aptly pointed out, a very focused play into China, whereas the other is a broad play on emerging markets in general. Um, BWO has about a 40% overlap with FXI given that China exposure, but then you get 60% of the portfolio across other emerging market countries such as India, um, Taiwan, um, and others. So I believe you know, from an exposure perspective, there's no question BWO provides um, more diversification. So it comes down to what are you trying to allocate to? Um, for us, 
We believe VWO is a better allocation in the portfolio, not only because it provides that diversification across all the different markets, but also if you look at it from a sector breakdown, FXI is focusing in only on those 50 largest names. And as a result, it comes with a significant amount of allocation to financials. In fact, right now it's 27%. And 27% in financials, Chinese financials, is worrisome to us. Um, on that reason alone, and I guess I would add in the information technology inside FXI is only 4%, whereas in VWO, it's 16%. Um, looking at it from that perspective, we like VWO, broader diversification, and the allocation at the sector level, which is a big differentiator, um, gives VWO the win. The next battle category is performance. So, Mike, you're still up. Who wins the battle? Yes, yeah, so the performance for being two different strategies is remarkably similar. Um, looking across, you know, year to date, FXI's got about a three and a half percent lead, but on the one year, they're pretty much the same. Three year VWO is outperforming FXI, and the five year um, and 10 year are actually within a percent of each other. That being said, we're not talking about past performance, we're looking for future performance. Um, and I like the diversification, the broader access. Um, to BWO to provide better risk-adjusted returns going forward. Um, I don't disagree with Dave's point earlier about China um, looking attractive, maybe in the short to midterm, but as a broader allocation, I'm giving performance to BWO. Dave, how do you see it in terms of performance? Who wins the battle between FXI and BWO? For performance, over the past 15.9 years since FXI's inception, China outperformed emerging markets while both funds underperformed the NASDAQ 100. <laughs> However, if you zoom in really close over the past six months, emerging markets in China have been heating up. At ETFPM, we have small allocations to China, including FXI, PGJ, CWEB, and the China three times ETF yin. And we do not have exposure to the emerging markets basket. So I give the win on performance to the wildcard ETF, China three times yin. And for unleveraged investors, the performance win goes to FXI. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. And so we've arrived at the mystery battle category. This is where our judges can pick their single factor or maybe multiple factors to de determine what their overall decision is going to be and help, help us to understand their analysis. So, Dave, what is your mystery battle category and who wins it? So for the mystery category, my pick is always position weighting because having the right position size enables you to catch investments you might otherwise miss. And at ETFPM, both FXI and VWO are eligible for a two to 50% portfolio allocation if their performance ever justifies. So I call the position weighting category here a split decision. All right, thank you very much. Mike, how do you see it in terms of your mystery battle category? What is it and who wins it? Yeah, so I'm going to go a little outside the box here today and talk, uh, talk since ESG seems to be the, the topic du jour in the investment world and ETF world these days, I talk a little bit about um, China as an ESG play versus a broader diversification and actually introduce some, some potential ideas um, that can give you exposure to emerging markets that might um, meet some ESG mandates. Um, one example might be FRDM, which is the Freedom Weighting ETF, where it excludes um, non-free democracy countries, which would include China. Um, another might be XSOE, which is the Wisdom Tree Emerging Markets X state owned enterprises. So it has allocations to China, but it doesn't own those companies that are state owned or state ran. And I think that's an interesting concept when you're thinking about investing directly into China right now, it might be a consideration. So not directly related to the FXI versus VWO, though VWO does give you broader exposure. Um, that is my mystery category and figure I'll take a playbook out of Dave's and just introduce some new tickers to the battle. All right. I like it. And I think those are some solid points. ESG, by the way, for our audience is an acronym for environmental social governance and certainly something that's becoming more prominent in the investment landscape as people try to align their own personal philosophies with their investments. Thank you very much for that analysis, Mike. So we've arrived at the point where you're going to pick your overall battle winner between these two ETFs. This is the last chance for our judges to weigh in. So, Mike, you're still up. Who is your overall battle winner? Hands down, VWO. You get access to 4,000 companies in emerging markets countries. Um, 
for 10 basis points. You want to talk about access to markets? That is the definition of access to markets in a nice, low cost, tax efficient wrapper. Um, FXI, there's nothing wrong with it per se. It's a great way to take direct allocation to China, but I think of it more as a tactical play. Um, thinking long term, BWO is a great building block within a diversified portfolio. Thank you very much. Dave, what's your overall pick before, between these two ETFs? Well, Ron, to recap this important emerging markets battle, China underperformed US stocks for many years. While the country is still expected to become the world's largest economy somewhat soon, and they are very focused on competing in technology and artificial intelligence. Therefore, it may be time to add a little direct China exposure, as we have been doing in our active strategies, and we may eventually add direct China exposure to the passive investable benchmark portfolios as well. Since FXI delivered stronger long term performance than the emerging markets basket. I give the win in this battle to FXI and the China three times ETF yin for leveraged investors. All right. Well, our judges have weighed in. And according to my battle scorecard, this is a split decision with our judges agreeing on cost and disagreeing on exposure strategy and having differing opinions on performance. And then also on the overall battle winner, of course, Dave favoring more exposure to China, whereas Mike favored a broader overall exposure to emerging markets, which of course China is part of. And each of you made some solid points. Um, some of the things that really jump out at me, first of all, FXI, if you're looking for exposure to China, it's just large cap Chinese stocks that are Hong Kong listed. And it's never really not really a good or accurate reflect, reflection of the entire Chinese equity market because it misses mainland Chinese shares, also known, I believe, as A shares. So for something like that, I'd like to introduce my own wild card uh, for you guys, since you guys are always doing that. And uh, that would be GXC, which I think if you're looking for China exposure, offers a more broader uh, exposure to the entire China market because of the fact that it doesn't have uh, just uh, Hong Kong listed shares, but also uh, some of those mainland Chinese shares. So just keep that in mind. And, and certainly VWO in terms of the core exposure to emerging markets is a strong, strong place to start. But again, judges, great job on this particular battle. We appreciate each of your takes and analysis. So which ETF battle would you like to see next? Be sure to hit us up on YouTube in the comment section below. Give us those ticker symbols. Also, you can find us on Twitter at ETF Guide. Don't forget to download the battle recap for today's show. Get a clean breakdown of how each judge scored today's matchup. Just hit the download link in the description section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron DeLegge. And until next time, watch the battle before you invest.